Hello, this is Dandy Reiner from Hatchfinders Fly Shop in Livingston, Montana. I'm teaching myself how to tie the Potts woven hair flies. Uh, it's a bit of a learning curve, but I'm enjoying the process and I'm having fun with it. Um, I've tied about a dozen so far. They're not perfect, but I'm, I'm working on it. So you can see the underbody there, a nice woven underbody. And th this is tied with squirrel, squirrel tail. Uh, check out the segmentation on this body with the squirrel tail. Isn't that nice? Trout are going to love that. So the squirrel tail I'm using, I got really lucky and I found some with really long fibers. This is like three and a quarter inches long. So because of that good length, I'm able to tie the body and the wing all in one shot. Uh, if you don't have squirrel tail that long, that's perfectly fine. You just simply tie your body and then you tie in a wing. Uh, so let's get started. I'm using a Dairiki hook, the number 730s, and this is the size 12. I'm using a Ultra Thread 140 in black. So I'll do a thread base here. I'm using a embroidery thread in bright orange. Just an ordinary embroidery thread. I haven't split it apart. This is one piece here. I'll tie that in. About at hook point. And now for a clump of squirrel tail. About a quarter inch, almost a half inch perhaps. And this is tied in at the tips. So I hold the tips with my my right thumb and right forefinger, and then I just pull away the under hairs with my left hand. Flick those away. And go ahead and Tie this in. And at this point, I bring my thread up to behind the eye to get it out of the way. And I've been turning my hook upside down in the vise. That way the woven thread will be on the bottom of the hook shank. I think the jaws on my vise are wearing out. So the first thing I do is I take a hold of that squirrel and I'm holding it tight not tight enough to break it but pretty tight and I come around the hook shank once just like that wrap, wrap forward one time now I take my thread and I come around the squirrel and then I take the squirrel and wrap it around the hook shank and then I take my thread and wrap it around the squirrel from left to right around one full wrap of thread around my squirrel wrap my squirrel around the hook shank thread around the squirrel keep your wraps even and tight So only the squirrel is wrapped around the hook shank and only the thread is wrapped around the squirrel. I'm 
try to hold on to that tightly. I think I'm going to stop about right here. So I've made my wrap with my thread. I'm going to stop. Wrap that squirrel, tie that down. And then I'll tie off the embroidery thread. Tie off the embroidery thread. Now, if your squirrel tail is really short and stubby, like, you know, if you have like that much left, go ahead and cut the whole thing off. Uh, if you still have if you still have enough length left to do the wing, just simply leave it leave it alone. Give it a few more wraps, and then I turn my hook in the right position, and then I take my wing and I fold all this hair back like that. I hold it with my left finger and thumb and then I go ahead and I tie in my head. Not too bad. Still got some more practicing to do, but I am enjoy tying these. Whip finish it off, trim the tail, or excuse me, the wing, and you want it about as, as long as the hook shank there, so kind of even it up with my scissors. Yeah, it's not bad at all. So Franz Potts was a pretty famous guy in Montana. He was a German immigrant who lived in Missoula and he created this fly in uh, the 1920s and uh, he was a wig maker by trade. That's where he learned to weave hair. And this fly was so popular that uh, he had to hire women from the University of Montana, uh, some students to uh, keep up with the demand of this fly. And uh, it's a nice, it's a nice fly. It represents a, a large caddis or a, a stonefly nymph. Uh, you can tie these in tens, twelves, fourteens. And uh, I'll keep practicing. I'll keep going at it. But what a nice fly! The pots woven hair fly.